video, I'm going to be unboxing box number two that I got off this guy. So in the, in the other video, I unboxed that one, and that was box number one. This one, same size box, but it's got a lot more in it. It has less big items, so it's got a ton of small stuff. So here's some stuff. So this is my second time going through everything that's here, because I already did go through everything. So I'm going to go through everything on video and show what I got in this one. So I'll set up and get to it. So right on top we have a transcontinental passenger or no dino culture mine. The line version. Handwritten R443 on the box. I don't know if that's original. Handwritten here again. Original price tag of three dollars and fifty cents. I'm gonna be getting hopefully more from this guy. He's currently working two jobs right now, so he hasn't been able to pull the rest of the stuff out. Try my land. Golden, RML, 21, so I built Golden. Original price tag, $1.65. These are all Canadian prices of what these were originally. Then here we have. Okay, I'll put that one out later. So we have Hanabi Clock Tower, and I'm probably going to be selling this. But it's too new for me. Same with uh, this item as well, this little tank car, I'm probably going to list up on my eBay. Because it's too new for me. But other than that, it looks like they're in good shape. Then, this one I was really surprised to get it. R58. And it's the early MK2 coupler one. So it's the version of the 448, right here. It's not the one with the both 448, because there's also that version. But it's really nice to finally get my hands on that one. Get damaged. And then this one here, you can kind of see what it is already. It's a switcher. It is transcontinental. It's in really good shape. Better to my other one that I have. I think I have two of these now, or maybe three of them. I'm not sure exactly how many. And we have the passenger coach. This was originally three dollars fifty cents as well as the other one, and we're in on that as well. We'll get to that one later. I got blue transcontinental one passenger coach. Then this one unfortunately got damaged in shipping. As you can see here in the wheels, so I just had to pop them out. I think I have I believe I have the proper wheels for this. I have a few of them I I believe. Couplers I can train them out, they're a little bit bent. So a nice early Blue Trying Railways one. So over here. Then another early blue one with the Vistome coach. These couplers are bent, so these ones are I'm gonna have to train out, but the wheels are in good shape on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to train those couplers out. And you can kind of already see that one. That was originally on the bottom when I opened this box up. I was really happy to get that. Uh, Hanabi sign. And this one. Uh, Hanabi Pullman coach. Doing some research on this one. It was originally $69. I thought that was expensive, but when I was looking this up, this thing goes for quite a bit. So this one, I might actually. This might be the only new Hanabi item that I might hold on to because it seems to be quite valuable. It might go up in price, I don't know box over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just reaching down here. CP Rail Baggage Car version 2. Version 1 is D-A-N-F-F. Version 2 is B-A-N-F-F. So that's version 2. Does that have any more loose items? Nope. Okay, so now I'm going to go over this one. Boom, my very first CT Rail in car. 
unfortunately it has been opened and this is a craft because it's yellow with the page. It was originally three dollars and eighty cents it looks like. It's been opened. You can see because it's missing the two staples on the side. But these two are kind of in the original spots. And another hint on how to tell that it has been resealed is these are flat. They don't have their little indentations up or whatever. That you can kind of see. So now that that makes my second one that I have, my, my second bubble pack that's open. So that's nice to get my hands on the in car. 304 baggage car. Handwritten again with originally $5.49. Ooh, okay, we're already getting into this. R55. I forgot how I put them in the box. Transcontinental version. Pretty nice shape. I'll open it up later. I forgot how I reboxed them up. This one is originally $2.50. That's just basically doing coach. Oh, this could be the blue one or this blue one. No, this is the looks like Transcanal. Yep. Tri no, this is Triangle Railways. It's got pink seats. I have no idea if that's original or not. So we're trying to do some research to figure out if it is or not. So there's that one. So this video is going to be a long video of unboxing because there's I think you get a lot in this box compared to box one. Original price tag of four dollar from Playtime Stores. This is R fifty seven. Nice trying railways one. Then I'll, I will take them out of the box later. Let's go over this one. So this, even though it says trying on it, it isn't. Yeah, it's not trying unfortunately, but it'd be kind of cool to complete them. So I sent the guy a message and just haven't heard back. So it looks like I'm just missing the bodies and then I have maybe enough parts to make another chassis. I'm just need some more parts. So it looks like the rest of the 40s it would be kind of cool to complete these if I can. I just got to wait to hear back from the guy. He's working two jobs right now, so he's extremely busy. So he hasn't gone back to me yet. This one is another. Oh, this is an R58, originally $3.95. Okay, that, this, yeah, this one's been glued, this end has been glued shut. Yeah, most of them are wrapped up like this, but it is R58, but it is the MK3 coupler. And so we'll take these out of the boxes eventually. Take them out again and lay them out. This box, another R58. This one, I don't know if this one's, yeah, this one's, okay, yeah, this one's wrapped up as well, but it's the same as the other one. So awesome to get two of those. I'll go through this box later because this, this one's something cool. That was unexpected. A lot of these were unexpected. This is an R155. This is neat. So you see the inserts like this. I thought this was an upside down, but it's not. Boom. Look at that. It's in really nice shape, except for that's the only defect I believe on it. I don't know if it has ever been ran before by some K2 coupler. Kind of hard to see because I don't have my flashlight on. My flash on. There you go. You can kind of see it right there. It's MK2. It's really nice shape. I think that's the only little defect on it. The number's a little faded. And the bottom box is a little bit bowed inwards, as you can see. But that one was awesome to get my hands on. Alright, let's go through this one. This one I was so happy to get. The CP R54. It's hard to believe this was originally eighteen dollars and ninety-five cents with the proper box. That's awesome. I never took it out, so I don't know if the paperwork's in there or not yet. And 
an R155. This one, the paperwork is indeed in there, as you can see. I know what that one is, it's just missing the flap. It is light red version. Has a hole here. Other than that, it looks like it's in good shape. The box is a little beat up. It was originally $3. Nope, $13.95. From Steamford Sports Circle or Psycho Hardware Store. It's cool how it's done with the original price tag. Then this one, Transcan. I don't know if I'm ready to have this one. I got it already. This one was originally 25 cents for whatever. It's kind of faded right there, as you can see, so it's kind of hard to make it out. What it says. Let's see if I can get it focus, but it looks like it is the proper box. Oh, yeah, there we are. I don't know if the paper works in this one. I don't think I'll ever pull with this one out to see if it is or not. So we'll have to check. I don't know if they all came with paper work or not. And then this one. R57. It's a little dinged up as you can see. But this one's cool if I can remember right. This is what I think it is. Because I think I only have two, two of them. Alright, and I pulled the other one out. Yep. Boom. The early trying rallies one. You can tell that because that's like dark red or whatever. And it's missing. Unfortunately, it is missing the bottom parts, but you can see it right there. Alright, it's the early one. I don't know what one was first. I don't know if this one was first or the red version was first. Unfortunately, this is the dummy. I don't think I have the power unit yet. But the guy told me, I was told that the guy has approximately five boxes of trying Hanabi stuff. And then other brands like River Austin, Matuna, and so on. He's cleaning out a storage unit and he's working two jobs and he's really busy. Right now. This one's another R55. This one was originally $4 or $14 from playtime so this is the red line version that I was talking about this is the early one I think uh, this one's got both of the inserts I can't remember but I think this is MK2 coupler as well I'll have to check when I pull it out but there's a lot in this box so let's go through this one trying TC series diesels are RS-3 two lines and then something to have TC, CP, CNR, TR and this one was really cool I got two yellow ones my very first yellow ones fortunately this one the step got damaged so I have it taped to the top I just had to glue it on the decal looks, looks like they're in good shape except for the roof right here is a little worn little fader right there the chassis they were both both of the chassis were loose and the bodies were loose as well they weren't screwed on so I haven't screwed them on yet oh, there's that one and this one that's missing the front coupler it has this one's been grinded down a little bit as you can see unfortunately so I should be able to link up in original just fine hopefully and this one looks like it's in good shape, except for a little fade right there. And a little bit right there as well. And then it's got something weird going on here, as you can see. Get it closer for you guys. Yeah, so other than that, and the two little things on the roof, it seems like it's in good shape. And the chassis is complete, and it really does look really clean like it's never been ran. So I don't really know 100% certain on that they've been ran. I can't remember the story on on this, on these. I, yeah, I, don't, I just don't remember the story right now. All I know is it's clean, clean surgeon. I think a family member passed away 
and he's the, and they didn't have kids of their own or whatever. So he, somehow he's in charge of emptying the storage unit. So this one's the Trying Railways version, faded right here. And a little faded right, yeah, a little bit faded right there because it's missing that line there. And a little faded right there. Other than that, those are the little defects of that one. Oh, and this as well has been repaired, it looks like as well. I forgot about that. Okay. Then this one is... Okay, I thought this was the neat one. Okay, so this is the CN, light red version. Missing the coupler back here. Oh, it's got the front coupler though. This one... Yeah, I think these horns are, no, those horns aren't original. This one had two horns added. It looked like somebody was going to add something there because of the hole there. Other than that, it looks like it's in good shape. I have a ton of, ton of them. Label organizing. Then this one. Kind of already tell what it is. CP rail. This one's almost been, except for this horn's been added. Then this little piece here's been added to it as well. Other than that, it's pretty nice. It's pretty neat looking. Pretty nice modifications, I would say. Having a little bell added and the little horns are pretty interesting. Then this is the neat one. Boom. Double-ended diesel TR shield version. This is my second one. I have, I had the blue transcontinental one, the R R three or R S thirty four in the box. So now, now I have a loose set of them. It looks like it's in good shape as well. This is quite loose, uh, as you can see. So I'm gonna have to get in there and figure that out. But that's what's in this box, or that's what was in that box. Now. As you can see, I have a ton left to go through. I got me a lot. There's a lot in this. So I'll go through this one. This one was a really big surprise. R257. Unfortunately, this part is worn off. And unfortunately, the original price takes half worn off as well. This was awesome to see. I did not know I was getting the, all of this stuff, so it's got this little information thingy. And it is in really nice shape. It is a green and orange one. Pinographs are in awesome shape. It did not get damaged like my other one, and it's got the oil bottle as well. My other one that I bought got damaged, and the guy sent me a refund for it. He was really nice, so he sent me a refund, so I had, literally got the other one for free. Because he refunded me because it got damaged in shipping or whatever. Told the, I, I only asked for a little bit of a refund, and he just gave me a full refund, because it would be nice. Or I bought off him before. And then we got another one. This is the early version, and this is the stone coat. This one, I think, is the one that has the insert. Yeah, how I know that because it's not going in the box. Have they got pack of paper and all of them? So yeah, you see the size of the original insert, which is really cool. It's missing one though, so I think there's supposed to be two. I believe there's supposed to be two of these, one for the other side. But unfortunately, there's only the one. Eventually I'll open them up, lay them out, and then I'll do my recap video. This is just a simple... This part of the video is just going through and with you guys, showing you what I got in this box. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot. Like, I'm not even done yet. Like, there's so many right now. This one was originally $3.50. Duotone Green. This is the Coach. This is Precision Scales Box. This is... Yeah, I'm gonna have some dual greens that I am gonna be selling. 
Now this one's wrapped up, so I'm not gonna pull it out. But I think this one's got pink seats as well, if I'm right. There's one of these that has pink seats. This one, Nerd Duo Green, three dollar fifty cents originally. This is Inner Coach. This is the one that had pink seats, or is the other one? One of them has pink seats. Is this one wrapped up too? Yep. As you can see, they're wrapped up. I want to make this a little bit quick. Don't want to make it like an hour long pulling them out, showing, and then do a recap video. I'll, do, I'll show them, and then I do the recap video or the recap part of the video. Diner Car Duo Green, real price day again, three dollars fifty cents. This one was wrapped up as well. Baggage kitchen car. I find it interesting. This was originally two dollars and ninety-eight cents from the same place for the baggage kitchen car. This, the baggage kitchen cars, from what I've been seeing, are the most expensive ones, and it's crazy to think that they were the cheapest ones because this is two dollars ninety-eight cents. Other ones are all. Let's see, grab them all. Other ones, three dollars and fifty cents, and yeah, as you can see, three dollars and fifty cents is what these ones were. And this one's somehow only two dollars and ninety-eight cents for the baggage car, which is interesting. So it's pretty cool seeing the original price tags. Yeah, let's see, I got a ton to go through. Two dollars and fifty cents. Playtime stores again. This is blue, so this is gonna be transcontinental, or this is gonna be the regular blue, the Triangle Railways blue. Nope. Yep, this is Triangle Railways. This one, diner car, but I'm pretty sure it was a roof swap, so I'm gonna swap the roofs back eventually. That somebody did, so I'm gonna convert them back. When I was looking at this, I thought it was an error at first, and then I'm like, you know what? I think it's a roof swap, and I'm pretty certain that's what it is. This one is baggage car, blue, and yellow. R134. This one might be the transcontinental, I don't know. It's wrapped up a little bit, so I'm not gonna pull it out. I'll pull it out eventually. This one's R24 Coach TC series. I'm gonna have to figure out this. This one is the early, early red line version. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out the the boxes to make sure that these are in the proper boxes because I don't know. It's got so many different versions. So, for example, this one's baggage car, baggage kitchen. This is blue and yellow. So, this should be transcontinental. And of course, it's wrapped up, so I'm not going to pull it out yet. But I'm pretty sure that one's transcontinental if I'm right. Baggage car, blue and yellow. Again, pretty sure it's transcontinental. It's wrapped up as well. Pull that out later. This one's diner with seats. This is blue plus yellow. Was originally red and silver, but I think it does have the proper one. Nope, it's blue and blue was in there. Okay, I thought it had the proper one in there. But it's gonna be interesting seeing seeing what else this guy pulls out when he gets more L and then gives me a shoots me a text and then I buy the rest of them. That one's in there as well. Mr. Dome Coach TC series. Yeah, there's so many as you can see. This one is blue and yellow, so probably transcontinental or the other regular one, but you got not done the box yet. There's just so many. This Dome Coach TC series as well. In a second, I'm gonna go take a break for a minute. Back, I accidentally hit stop. Consider resume. R131 blue and yellow. And MK3. In my opinion, I think this should be with the boxes. I think this one should be an MK. I think the thin ones should be MK2. I could be wrong, and this could be in the proper box. But that's what I. What I what I think. That I don't know for sure if that's accurate or not. 
And this is an observation. Yeah, this one's just called Our Observation Coach TC Series. Well, it was really two dollars and twenty-five cents. And this is the early silver. So this is the end one. So I'll show when I pull it out. I just want to pull it all the way out right now. I pull open up the wrong side. So that's the early silver one. Just so many. Then diner blue and yellow R325. This is just says coach was originally a diner red and silver. It's been frosted out. And now it's just a coach. I don't know if it's accurate, but it is. Okay, no, it's not wrapped up. And what are we? Are we diner or are we a natural coach? We are a natural coach, so it's not the diner. So when I get the rest of the stuff from them, it's going to be interesting to see if I get any more with the boxes. And then I'm going to have to go through and sort them all and see if they're all in the proper boxes and so on. But, uh, there's so many. Diner, red and silver, R324, then box. Try to fly past this. And then our diner, blue and yellow. Which on price today with two dollars and fifty cents. See, I got some stuff down there. Diner, red and silver, baggage car. Two dollars and fifty cents. It looks like it's a little bit worn or torn. And that is awesome as well. Everybody knows what that is by now. Boom. The, the giraffe car. So, biggest car, red and silver, coach. $2.50 as well. So, that's what the most of them are. Original prices are originally $2.50. This one's cut kind of missing a little bit. Are trying four. Silver. So, this is going to be MK2 silver, I believe. Now you can see. I'm gonna go through this box here. This one was a nice surprise. I've been wanting this one for a while as well. This is the Lord of the Isles. Fortunately, the music part's out of the box, but I can attach it. And if you got the original sandpaper, that's not gonna wear off like I did with my other locomotive. But it looks like it's a really Really nice shape. It is indeed the trying version. So you kind of see right there, trying. So yeah, it's really nice. That's that part's the coal load that goes in here. It was really nice seeing that. But I was only sent a few photos, so you know, photos again. I got a transformer, another transformer, and this box here is another transformer as well. This down here, R4A double tra track in the box. I've not counted them to see if all 24 is there, but judging by the by how the box is, I think some of them are missing. So now, so I'll go through these two little wagons. So this one is the oil tanker UD Tranganabi R15 milk wagon. This one is worn on that side R215 bulk grain wagon. Doesn't really look like a grain wagon to me, so I think it's supposed to have drums on it. R495, single track level crossing, hand operated. It is in there. I'll take it out when I do my recap part. Okay, I got transformer. Oh, this one's interesting. This one has original Eton's 
receipts. So on November 12th, I'll go to five. So this was whatever this was was seven dollars and seventy three cents. This was twenty three cents. I don't know what they were, but it's really cool having two. I believe these are receipts from Etons. Both from the same day, both from the same register, just different amounts. So that's something really cool to have. Let's see, Etons. I don't know if that was for the Transformers or what the, it was for because it just says the price, that's all it says. And this is the station platform, it is in there. So, oh, there we go. But it is in there. Got a nice orange caboose, my second one. I believe my first one was missing the the insert, I think. So this is really nice having this one that has the insert. This one, R486 curve track. That one, I think, is almost all in there. This one's drop down sides, R13, R113, goods wagon with drop sides in the box with the yellow insert. Show the draft card now. This is awesome. My very first draft card with the box. I have two of them loose and one in a Canadian set. So now I have one with the box. It is complete with its paperwork. And I'm not sure how many rails these came with originally, but there's four. And this has been modified because it's got this bottom part. And it's, it's, so that way the guy could open the doors or whatever, which is really cool. TR Shield, big version. I think mine are the big version as well. It's cool having the little rake thingy. And it moves freely. He's ducking right now because of the insert, but it does move freely. Still, I have not tested it to make sure it actually works. But it seems like it goes up and down just fine, so I haven't tried to see if it'll work on the rails. This one, R78C, grinder bridge and supports. Very first one with the box. And it even has the paperwork on it, but this is the version felt the Robux logo. So this is my very first one, but it is all in, all there. The nails are on the other one, or the screws, but everything's there. It is complete. Just don't feel like taking it out right now. It's really cool to have. Then the last three items are the transformers and the boxes. This one's got its paperwork, but they're all exactly the same as this one. I have quite a few of these, so I have probably like four, maybe five of these loose now. So I'm going to be selling a few of those off because I have so many loose and I have three in the boxes now. This one's got the receipts in it. So I'm going to keep the ones in the boxes, sell off some of my loose ones because I got so many of them. I don't need that many. So now... Going off of this. So as you can see, here's my, the the must. And I'll come back and I'll come back when I have everything laid out. Here's a recap of what I got in box two. Everything's laid out. So down the line we have the trying railways versions. We almost a nice set. We're just missing the end cars. Close up of the caps or the end flaps, and it's cool how some of them have the proper price tag on them. And this one. Here, as you can see, it's got this Stone Coach TC series, TC series. These ones here, these, these ones here might have to be like the early ones, like the MK2 couplers. I believe. I don't know much about the box variations, so I'm gonna have to research it. And then, as you can see here, 
pink seats. Uh, and then there is her pink seats. So for this one, I need to swap its roof over to the darn roof, and then it'll be proper again. So I gotta swap those, and then a nice set of Trans Canal Advantage cards. I have the RS34 set in the box. So the blue Trans Canal set, I have it in the box, which is nice. So I'm really good shape, so it's cool to have almost a complete set of them loose with the boxes. I just need the coach. And this is Precision. This is Precision. Then Diner and the end car. They are OO gauge, so I need the Precision version of these two. And then I need the OO gauge version of this one. Then I need both versions of the coach, and then I'll have them complete. And then this one was awesome to get my hands on. The early silver baggage car. Then early silver end car, I have this one in the box, but mine's missing both of the flaps. So it's awesome to have this one complete. This one I believe is in the proper box. It's hard to tell because it is faded. As you can see. So it's silver. It says on it. I don't know if it is the proper box or not, but then this one you can see how it says red and silver. But the doors are red, so I don't know if that is the proper box or not. Because it's so faded on the one side. And the reason why it says red and silver, red doors obviously, because they did not make... From doing research, they never made a blue door version like the catalog shows. And then, nice baggage car, precision skill models. You will bring in the boxes, and another one pink seats. So I don't know... Yeah, I don't know if these pink seats came out of a certain coach or not. Because I have three of them so far in this lot that I got. I might have... I possibly might have two more that I already had. So I'm not sure what the thing about the pink seats are. So I haven't been able to find anything on pink seats so far. And then another passenger coach with regular white seats. Down here, these are all precision scales models. And then... The red and silver one, as you see the red stripe, but it's MK3 with the box, diner, diner. This one's interesting. I wish they didn't cross it out because that says diner, red and silver. So I think this was a box error, maybe, unless the diner was 124. So that could be it. Or no, that could have been a three, so that could be the right box for diner. Now that I look at it. And then fastener coach, MK3 again. Vista Dome coach, MK3. With the insert. I think I think these are supposed to have two inserts, one for this side as well. But this one only has the one. And then a set of early ones. These two both have their inserts. This one's in the box still. It's on the other side, so it didn't come out. But they're really nice shape. And it seems like it's common for them to have this little line. Here. You see, and then same with the MK3 one. They all have that line. Then here with the fastener coach as well. You can see it also has the line on it. Same with this one. So it's, it's really common to find them with the line. I don't know this one when they were in storage or not. But again, close up on the tabs. Then this one. Is really nice R57. This one looks more red in the video, but it's dark. There, you kind of see it right there. It's, it's dark. The video is making it look more red, but it's the dark red version or the maroon or whatever version. Yeah, as you can see, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it makes it look red, look red, but it's actually not red. It's not that bright on the video. Or, I mean, it's not that bright in real life. It's the dark version. Just interesting how the video shows it lighter. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of seeing it right now. And then this one. Nice trying Railways version with the V hood. And then that needs to be reattached because that does fall off. These are the dummies. So I need to get my hands on the power unit for this one. And then I will need the R58 because I think the R58 also has this color variation I believe and then here's a nice one the red line or the red stripe trying railways version just like this one but it's not as dark there you can kind of see it right there 
proper color. So this one's red as you can see. I have a nice set of these loose. And now I have the R58 loose as well for it. Nice transcendental one with the box. And this one was awesome to get my hands on it. The R155 was unexpected to get my hands on that one. The only little defect I believe is that little fading right there on the number. And a little bit there, a little bit on the roof as well. Again, this is 1950... Seven, 58? I don't know, but... Again, this is really old, so it's going to be really hard to get mint. Or perfect. Because, again, it is... It is, like, over 60 years old, I think. And another Transcano one, open box one. Not the MK2, it's MK3. And then this one here, R155 with the paperwork. I don't know if this paperwork is proper for the, that one or not, but it's got the paperwork. And then box of SD40 or, or whatever chassis. Transformers. Well, all three are the same as that one. Then the receipts that that one has in it. And our baggage card box. Two Transcanal ones box. Then this one was an awesome surprise. And it is mint. I don't think this one has any runtime. I think it just sat in the box for years, it looks like. I don't... Because it just doesn't look like it has any... Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it looks almost like it doesn't have any runtime. But that does look like it has been greased up, maybe. So, it, by the looks of it, it looks like it has hardly any runtime in it on it. Which is really nice. And then the model land kit with the paperwork. As you can see. The instructions for it, which is really awesome. And then two R58 MK3 couplers. As you can see. With the proper boxes. It's hard to believe that one of them was originally $3.95. It's kind of cool looking back at the old price. Tags, and then this one was cool. Look at the reading box. Then the platform is complete. Then the draft card with the paperwork, the box. Has been modified, but it does go up and down just fine. It doesn't go up and down now, but I can pull it out for you so you guys can see it. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's supposed to go down. <laughs> When you push it or whatever, yeah, there you go. I was, <laughs> I was pushing this part up, but yeah, as you can see, it works really, just fine. So, I haven't tested it on the track or not, but you can kind of see it. it moves freely, so it should work fine, I think. And then this one, I opened it. It does not have the original paperwork on, with it. I don't know if it was supposed to have paperwork, with it, but again, it's kind of interesting. Eighteen dollars and ninety-five cents originally. That's how much this thing was worth? Which is really cool. Then the little wagons, the caboose, version 2 baggage car, version 2 end car, and then the bridge with the paperwork, box, insert, then track, more track, then I know you hold on coach, which I might hold on to because this thing seems to be pretty valuable, and then this one I'm going to sell off, and then this one I'm going to sell on the same with the uh, church, transcontinental passenger coach. But it's Lewis Bits in the box. Lord of the Isles. Really awesome to go hands on that one. Two early Triangle Railways ones. Then the early R58. So I believe there's supposed to be another version with this dark. And then 408 is supposed to be on both ends of this as well. Two yellow ones. This one's in good shape compared to this one with the rust up. Triangle Railways. Transcontinental blue one. CN. Really good shape except for the horns been modified and then CP rail in good shape except for modified horns, but it's really cool. Trying railways and transcontinental. So that's everything that I got in box two. It's a lot to go over, so sorry for this video being very long. As you can see there was just a lot in this box. That's why I'm making it in two separate videos. And eventually I do have some more I do have another box that I will open up from a different seller that I got it off of. I'm going to get a little bit more off of him. 
but I but I have some more uh, duo greens in the boxes, so I'm gonna go through, sort them out, and then figure out what ones I do want to sell and what ones I'm gonna keep because I'm probably gonna list some duo green coaches up on my eBay because I have a complete set of the position scale models as you can see right here. So these are all my duo greens. So these ones here. Okay, no, that's old gauge. Yeah, so these are my old gauge ones. And then these ones are my precision scale models, as you can see. So I have a complete set already of the precision scales. Old gauge, I just needed, I just need one, which I do have in that other box, I believe. So yeah, I gotta go through and figure out what ones I want to keep and what ones I want to sell. And then I have two complete sets loose. I'm trying to show you. Over here I have two complete sets loose with the TR shield one. So this set here of deal greens, this one's mint. This one, the where is it? This one baggage car it's a little warp, so I'm gonna be selling that one when I get the other another one in. And diner. And I have two passenger coaches as well, so I might have enough Lewis ones to make a third set that I'm going to sew off but I'm going to keep locomotives and not going to get rid of those. And then the next thing that I'm going to be sewing off I think is going to be some of the Trying Railways Red Stripe one. As you can see I got two of these ones. Two Diner ones. Two of these ones. And that's it. So I might might have a few more in the boxes from other stuff that I got a while ago, I'm not sure exactly that I will list up and get rid of but the baggage card I'm keeping obviously because I only have this one and then I had the early one. Yep, so that's what I'm gonna be listing up on my eBay. I'll link my I'll put a link in the description of my eBay. But I have other stuff like um Bachman, Rivarossi, Lenol. I got a ton of stuff on my eBay. I'm still constantly listing stuff up, but yeah, I got I don't sell just trying. I sell other makes as well, and I collect trying. So I hardly sell my trying stuff, but I have so many doubles that I gotta go through and list up. But I just have so many, and I'm gonna be getting more off of this guy. So who knows what else the other boxes I get off of them are gonna contain? So yeah, I just got so many doubles. I know for sure I have. I think. I think I have almost five, maybe I do have five, of the Trying Railways ones that I'm going to sell off. I'll probably sell two of those off. But yeah, I got so many that I got just had to go through and sort them. Yeah, you kind of see it right there in my collection. That's just some of it. So this is this row here is Trying Canadian stuff, so it could be found in Canada. And back here, and then... oh. As well on this this shelf up here, it's trying Canadian items as well. Eventually, they're gonna make their way over to on top of this shelf. I just got a lot of sorting, as you can see, that I'm going through and sorting stuff. And then I got more bins right here under this stuff. It's full of trying as well. But yeah, I got I'm just sorting like crazy right now, so I'm gonna be listing a ton of trying items up for sale or trade on marketplace and so on. But yeah, sorry for this long video, guys. This is as you can see, box two contained a lot more than what box one has box one had a lot of bigger items box two i have a crap ton of passenger coaches and now the fun part is putting them all back in the boxes and putting it back in that box for now until i'm ready to put it put them in with my other stuff so yeah eventually i'll get around excuse me eventually i'll get around to doing that i just got a lot on the go right now